I am clearly sacrificing all of my principles by merely doing such a video, but I am going to do a reacts video to a video that's less than a minute. I know it's a troll. I know it's a joke, but I feel like I gotta bring it up. I, I don't know why I'm doing this. Yes, I know reacting is cringe, zoomer tier. I know it's consume product tier. I just feel like I gotta do it, okay? It's relevant, we'll make it a learning moment, okay? For those of you who are new to the channel, this might be like, I don't know, Greek or something like that, but I feel like we need to talk about this. I don't even remember why. I looked up DistroTube, this is another, um, uh, this is a channel he does like uh, uh, technology stuff. Uh, I mean, I've known him. We did a stream together several years ago. He actually was my first super chat way back in the day, okay? In fact, now his channel is almost as big as mine now, okay? So congratulations on success. But I just want to say, I know this is a joke. I know that it, I, I'm, I'm going to watch this video, what, whatever. We're, we're just going to look at it, okay? We're just going to look at it. And, I, well, you're going to look at it. I'm probably going to have to hide my face, okay? I just wanted to make one of these shorts videos about you guys that do shell scripting. Will you guys please stop using slash bin slash sh in the shebang of your shell scripts? It makes no sense. For one thing, sh is not a real shell. I think a lot of people think sh is actually a real shell, a real language. That's not what slash bin slash sh is. It's simply a sim link to whatever your user's default shell is on the system. And if it's a non-POSIX compliant shell that's the default shell, such as in my case, FISH, it's not going to be able to run those POSIX I have lots to say about that. shell scripts. So stop being a bin sh virgin and start being a user bin env bash chad. Okay. Firstly, now I'll, I'll go ahead and say he's already gotten roasted by everyone in the comments, okay? And they all make good points. But setting your default shell, I know this is going to sound totally stupid for people who are new to this channel, but setting your default shell to fish is so stupid, I can't even describe it. It's like setting your default shell to Python. I know that he doesn't do this, because that would be incredibly stupid. He is, he cannot be stupid. I don't believe that, okay? Um, so, what's the deal with this? What actually is bin sh? What he says is bin sh, okay, as you know, as you, maybe you don't know, when you write a script, okay, let's actually pull up a script, okay? Let's, let's look at, um, it, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, let's just open some script. Um, when you put up here bin sh, that says run this program with the pro or run this script with the program bin sh, okay? And if you look up what bin sh is on your computer, you might get different things actually. In my case, as I just ran it, I get this program called dash. On your computer, you might get bash. Someone else's computer, they might have zsh, okay? Someone who's stupid, they might have fish. We'll talk about why that is stupid. Um, now, bin sh. He's correct to say, yes, it is not one single program, but it is part of the POSIX operating system, the Unix operating system, um, in the sense that there is a standard of what kind of programs can be bin sh. That is, when you write a shell script, um, shell scripts, of course, have a set syntax. You're not going to write Python in a file that you write, you have bin sh at the top, okay? You're going to write a shell script, right? And when you put bin sh at the top, that says, this is a shell script. Okay, that's it. That's all that means. Okay, now you can do things like he said. You could, I could actually replace it with this with user bin env bash, um, or you could just say you uh, bin bash or whatever like that. You could do that, and what that would mean is run this program as bash. Bash can run any kind of shell script. Bash any kind of shell script, um, whether you have your default shell as bash or anything else, bash will be able to run it. Okay, that's that's how it works. Bash is a superset of the POSIX standard. So you have the POSIX standard of all the things a shell is supposed to have. The program I have, Dash, it's it has it adds on a couple little things, but it's still very minimal and it's actually very fast. The reason I use it is it's a lot faster than Bash if I have system scripts running with this. Um, and then Bash is something much bigger. It adds on even more features and some of them make it easier to use and write in the command line. Um, but it, it is a little bit slower, but it still is compatible. Any script that I write for in shell script, uh, shell syntax, bash can read, uh, dash can read, zsh, even bigger than bash, it still can read any kind of shell scripting whatsoever, okay? Um, any of that syntax is all, like, when you put bin sh, you just say, I don't care what the program is, I don't care if it's dash, bash, ns, uh, zsh, or it's some other kind of shell, just as long as it is a shell, it will be able to run the script. So what, what about this program he mentions called FISH? 
fish. I've done a video on it. I actually sort of regret doing a video on it because I, I think it brought more people to use it. Uh, fish is called the friendly interactive shell. But here's the deal. It is not a real shell at all. It's not a real shell. I mean, it's a shell in the sense that it's a user interface thingy. Um, but it is not compliant. Well, you know, while Bash adds stuff on, Fish adds stuff on, and it also takes things away. So there are a lot of things in this script. Uh, I don't know exactly. I don't keep up with Fish syntax because it's actually always changing. Um, but um, there, Fish cannot run these scripts at all. Okay. Now you might say, I, I think I said a second ago. Oh well, if you are under the illusion that it is supposed to or that uh, you're supposed to set your bin sh as fish, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. That is just as stupid as setting your bin sh to Python or something dumb like that. It is a different language. It does different things. Now, the reason people use fish, they're, you know, it's called friendly interactive, is because fish adds these pretty features. You know, they have syntax highlighting. I mean, I have syntax highlighting and stuff on my shell, as you can see. Um, I, I'm using zsh. That is the interactive shell that I use. Um, and you can add anything fish has, you can add to ZSH and it's ZSH is much more minimal. Um, unless you're using oh my ZSH, which is another stupid, maybe I should do that rant somewhere else. But anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is that fish and I know, I know he's kidding. I know he has to be kidding. Actually, I don't know. This actually came up. I had to look for these comments a million years ago. Someone said something. I, I was complaining about snaps and flat packs and stuff like that and why I hate them. Uh, someone posted on my channel, distro, DistroTube said if uh, he would make a distro, the distro would be 100% app image based. And I checked that video, and in that video, he also said, so, it was like, what, what would I do if I designed my own uh, Linux distro? And he said something like that. And he also said that fish would be the default shell. That is so, I, I know that he's kidding. So that's how I replied. And I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what's a, a real and fake. I, I don't know anymore. Um, but... Yeah, fish is not a shell. Don't use it as a shell. Don't set it as your default shell. If you want to use it, I mean, don't use ZSH and add in the, if you want the, you know, pretty syntax highlighting, just add it into ZSH, which is a real shell that can run all of this kind of stuff. Um, but uh, fish is not, it's not a shell. I mean, it's, it's not a POSIX compliant shell. And for him to complain about it, hypothetically, if he were not kidding, which I know that he is not, not kidding, um... But, uh, and yeah, this is pretty much what everyone says. Um, yeah. Bin SH should be a POSIX compliant shell. Yes, duh. That's the point. Anyway, I, th maybe someone has learned something from this video. I just felt like I needed to react to that. I don't know. That, I know it's, I know it's a joke. I know it's a joke. I can't, that, that's why I keep telling myself that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Fish is stupid. Don't use it. Use ZSH if you want something pretty. Uh, if you want to brag to people on the internet, use uh, use dash as your shell in the background, as your bin sh, and your interactive shell use mksh. That's like the oh, I'm I'm really elite. But uh, yeah, I have dash. I think I mentioned before the reason I have dash. Oh, and if you're an Arch Linux user, okay, you can look up what is it? Uh, dash bin sh. Um, this is a little program you can install if you're Arch or Artix Linux user. It reroutes bin sh to dash. The reason this is a separate program is because of post install hooks that if you update bash, it'll overwrite it. Anyway, um, the reason I have this installed is just to make all my bin sh scripts run faster. And if I were to do what he recommended and stupidly rewrite all of my POSIX compliant shell scripts with bash, all of them would have to be run in bash on my computer, meaning that it would be running like four times as slow. People always say that bash is four times as fast as bash or dash is four times as fast as bad. Video's over. Whatever.